hello everyone welcome back to my channel guys in today's video we will be doing my august week one check-in so if you're interested please keep watching <music> Okay, guys before I get started I would like to say hello to all of my new subbies and a hey y'all hey to all of my day ones thank you guys so much for being here now if this is your first time ever clicking on my video and you like all things budgeting including budgets with me's cash envelopes and seeking fund stuffings savings challenges or if you would like to follow me on my family's journey to becoming debt free first of all go ahead and hit that like button and then go ahead and subscribe to my channel it is free and we have a lot of fun over here so guys let's go ahead and get into my check-in the first thing i'm going to do is go to my monthly view so that we can check off all the bills that i paid now we will actually be checking in for the week of august 1st through august 7th and now um my roth ira was funded but it was actually funded on the second and not the first the water bill was paid the gas bill was paid and the cable bill was paid as well so that is it for that part of the um, check-in what I want to do now real quick is go ahead and pull out my my um, transaction stickers for my um, cash envelopes and my no spend stickers so we can go ahead and get that put on on this um, page as well. Now, guys, I've gone ahead and um, noted my transactions on the transaction stickers just to save us some time. And what this is, for those of you who are new, this is my handy dandy um, Happy Planner Micro Notes. I use this um, anytime I am, uh, anytime I spend money in my cash envelopes, I always note it down so I know exactly where I am in regards to my cash envelopes. And I also like to see what I'm spending money on as well. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Now on the first, um, and just to be transparent here, Actually, a lot of these transactions were on the 30th because because I got paid on July 30th, but I'm I am putting them on August 1st because that is when my um, cash envelopes start all over again. So I went to Walmart and spent one hundred twenty six dollars and twenty three cents. And of course, I did my grocery shopping, guys, and I actually did something a little different this time. Um, when the pandemic first hit, I used to go grocery shopping every two weeks, but once the pan, no, not every two weeks, but once a week, once the pandemic hit, hit, I started going every two weeks so that I wasn't um, exposing myself to crowds that much. But when it came to this paycheck and this, these cash envelopes this time, I went ahead and went for one week. But when I went the one week, I spent over $126. So I'm really going to have to look at my um, grocery slash household envelope to see if I need to make some, some adjustments. Because now I only have um, 50 something dollars um, in that envelope for the next for the week of the 8th through the 14th. But we'll see how we do there. But again, um, Walmart, I spent $126.23. And then dining out on the same day, I actually treated me and my husband to some Hibachi Express. And that was $30.11. So let's go ahead and put that right there. And that came out of my dining out envelope. Same day, which was earlier that day. So let me go ahead and put that off to the side. I got my hair done. Um, and with the tip, it came up to $60 even. And then I got my nails done. Um, and that actually was $45. But you guys will see in a minute, um, I went over on my beauty um budget so i had to go into my spending so 40 i had 33 dollars left so i used that 
and then I had to go into my spending for $12, which I didn't think that was bad at all. So right here. So that is that for that day. Now on the second, I had to get some gas. And so I went ahead and filled up my tank. So I put $40 in. That was right before I went into work. So that was $40. You know what? Let me go back one, guys. I apologize. I missed something. Actually, on that same day, I um, went to Wendy's. So let me go to my allowance. And I actually got me one of these things called a um, a Frosty Sino or something like that. It's, where they, it's cold brew and they mix in either some of their vanilla frosty flavoring or their chocolate frosty um frosty flavoring and i actually got the vanilla and it was really really good so um that was two dollars and 95 cent so that was it for that day and then on monday i got 40 dollars in gas out of my gas envelope and then we go all the way to the fourth and let's see I had to go to Walmart because I had to get dish detergent and all different things of that nature. So I actually um, pulled this out of my spending envelope and it was $30.21. And then we go all the way to this past Saturday and I spent $3.49 at McDonald's. Of course, you guys probably already know what I purchased. That and a um, sausage McMuffin. And then on that, that same day, I had to go to Dollar Tree and pick up a couple of things. And that was $9.75. So let me go ahead and mark these off real quick. So that is it as far as my transactions are concerned. What I'm going to do now real quick, guys, is mark off my no spend days. So hopefully these no spend stickers will do good. So we had a no spend on the sec, I mean on the third. And it looks like we had a no spend on the fifth and the sixth. So let's go ahead and um, count our no spends real quick. Then we can move on to my detailed um, weekly check-in. So one, two, three. That's not too bad. We had three. No spends for the first week of August. So let's go ahead and move to my um, detail check-in report. Okay, guys, this is my um, detail weekly check-in report. And guys, on here, I know what categories I have as far as my cash envelopes are concerned. I also put the amount that I started with when I stuffed my cash envelopes. And if you have not seen my August paycheck number one, um, budget with me and cash envelope stuffing video. I will go ahead and link that in the iCards and the description box so you can check it out. But um, when I did do my cash envelope stuffing, groceries, I stuffed 188. Dining out, I stuffed 100. Spending, I stuffed 100. Beauty, I stuffed 93. Raise allowance, I stuffed 30. And gas, um, that is in my checking account, but gas gets stuff with $60. So what we're going to do real quick is go ahead and add up how much we spent in each category so we can see how much we have um, left remaining for the week of 814. I'm sorry, August 8th through the 14th. So groceries, we only had one um, transaction um, for groceries, and that was at Walmart for $126 and 23 cent and of course guys um, if you don't know or most of you may know I do a savings challenge where if I get one dollar or I actually do a one dollar five dollar savings challenge where anytime I use money out of my cash envelopes if I get a one dollar or dollars or five dollars those go into those savings challenges so for here since I spent one hundred twenty six dollars and twenty three cent that change goes into those savings challenges. I round that up to $130. So that gives me, um, what is that, $30, $58 left over. Dining out, I only had one transaction there for $30.71. 
Now, since that's under a dollar, guys, the 71 cent, I did not round that up. I just kept it at $30. So 100 minus 30, that left me with $70 in my dining out envelope. As far as my spending is concerned, let's see. We had a couple transactions in spending. So let's add those up real quick. So $21. So... Do 42 21 and we are going to round that up to 50 so that leaves us with $50 left in our spending envelope as far as beauty is concerned guys we spent all of our money in beauty because I spent $60 to get my hair done and then 33 on my nails so that's 93 there. That leaves me with zero. And the other $12 is in the allowance. So, okay, great. So next we have, not allowance, but in my spending. The next one we have is raise allowance. And in my allowance, I started out with 30. I spent 25 dollars I spent 25 dollars I spent 25 dollars For $16.19. Now, guys, when it comes to my allowance, I do not put any of the, the remaining money into my leftover savings challenge. That money is going to actually, if I have any leftover once we get to the second week, that is going to go to my rainy day fund. So let's go ahead and subtract that from 30. That leaves me with $13.81. And then for gas, gas, I spend $40 on the second, and that leaves me with 20. This thing really bothers me. So what I'm going to do real quick is go ahead and bring these remaining funds down to the second week of August really quick. Okay, guys, I have 58 left in groceries. I have 70 left in dining out, 50 left in spending, none left in beauty. $13.81 in allowance and $20 left in my gas envelope. Okay, I'm looking pretty good for the next week, guys. Um, how are you doing with your budget? Please let me know down in the comments. And also let me know if you guys do check-ins to see um, where you are or if you need to make any adjustments. But with that, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up and comment below guys this really helps my channel and if you are new to my channel and you like what you see please go ahead and hit the subscribe button before you leave i would greatly appreciate it but with that guys have a great and safe week god bless bye guys